Welcome to Mr. Bacon Pants Plays Dominion. Uh, Dominion is the granddaddy of all deck building games. So on the channel, I've been playing the the beta of Hero Realms, which is a deck building game uh, that has like a center row of five cards. And there's been quite a few deck building games that have kind of uh, you know built off of that same mechanic. Dominion is a deck building game where throughout the whole entire game you have the same pool of cards and it's more about looking at the available cards you have and very quickly building an engine and building you know a deck that kind of produces these big crazy turns and you're trying to score points as fast as possible um so it's kind of like more of a race uh kind of game where you're playing uh, almost solitary you know you don't really care too much about what the other opponents are doing and you're all just kind of trying to build your own engine as fast as possible uh, with the store of cards in front of you uh, so this is going to be a quiet uh, gameplay video there is no audio other than some sound effects in this uh, but that's because this game uh, like hero realms is a beta so it looks pretty polished uh, but there's definitely some features that that are lacking and this game is actually produced by a game that really makes amazing artificial intelligence for these types of games, uh, Temple Gate Games. Uh, they have actually made um, a couple other games that that I really enjoy, um, like Race for the Galaxy, Roll for the Galaxy, and uh, Shards of Infinity. Shards of Infinity is another deck building game, a really great one. Uh, kind of puts its own little spin on uh, Ascension a little bit. Uh, and then, uh, of course, Roll for the Galaxy is the sequel for Race for the Galaxy, which I also did on this channel. Um, both games are really good, uh, very similar. I like Race better. I feel like Roll for the Galaxy, yes, it's dice and they're fun to roll, uh, but Race is just a more streamlined, focused game. Uh, but yeah, the, the company that makes Dominion uh, makes great digital ad adaptations of board games. So I'm really looking forward to when this gets the full release. Uh, but right now the beta is, you know, available and it is really good to play. Um, but as you can see, features are missing. So there is no tutorial. Um, you can watch a video or read the rules. Uh, so this, you know, beta is really focused on people that know Dominion, uh, obviously. And the reason it's taken them a long time to kind of get this game out is Dominion's an old game. It's the very first or, you know, first popular uh, deck building game. And so there's a lot of expansions, a lot of history, and each expansion, you know, extends the game quite a bit. Uh, and so when you're trying to, you know, program these cards uh, and then also build an AI that's able to play intelligently, intelligently against human players with these cards... Uh, you know, you can kind of see where, um, you know, it's going to take a while to kind of get this out and get this tested. Uh, so, yeah, they're, they're planning to release all the expansions. Um, there's going to be some promo, you know, promo stuff. And then, uh, of course, th these are the games that I talked about that this company has also created. And again, all very, very good AIs, uh, very challenging. Um, so, yeah, right now, the uh, only... Uh, expansions available and they rotate these out throughout the entire beta is like alchemy and empires uh, i'm going to go ahead and play a base game um, just in case some people or i mean even myself i haven't played all the expansions in real life uh, so just to make this stream a little smoother i'll play the base game i know those cards relatively well um, so really no surprises so again selecting base game uh, just going to do two players i think two player dominion dominions you know okay i think three is pretty decent uh but six players is is just way too much so i'm gonna go ahead and click the old start button and as you can see here there's the sound effects very minimal uh but really the whole purpose of dominion is to buy these providence cards which cost eight gold uh you only start um, with some copper in your deck and three estates and so you obviously the first thing you got to do is get more gold right you got to get you get more money to buy those points and these are the green cards are your points and how you win uh so right now we each have three estates so we each have three victory points um so let's go ahead and look at the cards that we have available and again these you know and even in the base game there's a ton of different cards that can kind of come out randomly and so you have a lot of 
you know, replayability just with the, you know, the base game. Uh, but as you add expansions, things just get even crazier and crazier because some of the other expansions add additional mechanics. Uh, so we have uh, the bureaucrat. Uh, he gains a silver into your deck. Each other player reveals a victory card from their hand and puts it into their deck or reveals a hand of no victory cards. Um, so that is the bureaucrat. Uh, remodel is trash a card from your hand and then gain a card costing up to two more money. Um, so basically, if I trash the copper, I could buy something for two, like the seller. Um, or if I trash, you know, a silver, I can get something worth for five. It's kind of nice. Um, I don't know. Don't really like it. Now, this one is you can draw three cards. So you draw you know, your hand of five cards, and then this is an action. You get one action a turn. Uh, so then I, I would be able to play this, draw three more cards, hopefully, you know, drawing those golds. The library, uh, draw until you have seven cards in hand, skipping any action cards you choose to set them aside, discarding them afterwards. So this is good if you have a lot of gold in your deck uh, and a lot of action cards so you, and you want to just kind of, you know, get through it and get all that gold out. That's what you can do. And then the artisan, gain a card to your hand, costing up to five. And put a card from your hand uh, onto your deck. So you can gain a card to your hand, costing five. And then you can put a card from your hand onto your deck. So it's kind of nice because you can grab a card that costs five, up to five, and put it immediately on top of your deck. So you can kind of get that next hand ready. you know, Or maybe another card. So it's kind of versatile and it's, and it's an action. Uh, the seller is plus one action, discard any number of cards, and draw that many. So you only get one action a turn, but this will give you an additional action, so it kind of replaces itself. But this is also nice because you can, you know, discard these two estates in my hand, and then I would draw two more additional cards. If one of them happened to be an action, I could play that again. Uh, so seller is very nice. Chapel is trash up to four cards from your hand, which is also good when you want to get rid of all those lousy copper as you get more gold in your hand or in your deck. Plus one card, plus one action. Look through your discard pile. You may put a card from it into your deck. Um, this is a kind of a nice card if you're trying to get some combos and trying to get to keep the good cards into your deck and the bad cards out of your deck in your discard pile. The village, classic, draw one, two actions. Classic, classic card. It's probably one that I would be buying uh, this round. And then gain a card costing up to four. So it only costs three. So we're going to go ahead and play my treasures. So I do have some options here. Don't want to buy points yet. I don't really want to buy silver yet. Because I think I want to get this action or uh, this village just so I can start building up. Um, mm, I'm trying to think because I feel like let's go and get the silver. I'm not too, so each pile, uh, has 10 cards in it. And so normally you kind of want to make sure you buy cards that you want or the computer or the other players will buy them and that, you know, the 10 card piles are gone. Um, looks like they bought a remodel and yeah but that little picture oh okay it's just their disc i was gonna say that little picture does not quite look like uh the card that we know they bought because there's only nine left uh so i'm not sure but again this is the beta so it's not gonna be perfect all right, so I feel like I do like the seller because it lets you cycle through that deck and get those estate cards out, and then I can maybe start buying. Yeah, so here we go. We already have. So I can go ahead and play the seller, drop that down. I can do up to three more. I know that silver's in my deck somewhere, so I could just, like, you know, go do, do. But I do run the risk of getting another estate, so I'd rather, yeah. I'll just do that and then play. And I do want to get something that gets me cards. So I think like a smithy would be good if I could, you know, get another gold. Um, but maybe in the place of that, I could maybe just get a village. Okay, so here's my smithy. Play treasures. Get the smithy. 
All right, so now we're going to start doing, uh, trying to get some more gold, and then I might do uh, the, tra the, the chapel. So we'll play that. Look at that. It's a good one. All right, and this is where the card order that you play really is important. So if I play, oh, I guess it doesn't matter. I get plus one action either one. Um, all right, so then we'll just draw a card. Do this, discard, discard. Okay. Play treasures. Hmm. Not really good at this game, I will say. But I, I, I win. I beat the computer enough. I feel like I should maybe do another seller. Sellers are really powerful. There's cards that will put these curses in your deck. And sellers are really nice because you can just like discard those curses that are just essentially dead cards. Um, I kind of wanted to buy a chapel, right? Because I wanted to get the circuit and the copper out of my deck. Okay. I'll do that. All right. And okay. Oh, see, now they bought a province, which is the six victory points. Now they're up to eight. So you kind of have to watch when your opponent does that because it kind of triggers you to say, hey, maybe I should start buying Providence cards when I have the chance because the computer will buy them all and we'll win. All right. Let's do seller. Let's get rid of the estate and it's risky. All right. Okay. Yeah, it didn't really change much. Okay, I only want one chapel. I'm not really looking to to discard a bunch of stuff here. Um, so let's do gold and then hopefully get that chapel. There it is. There it is. All right, so. So this is where I, can, I would have to pick which one I want. Um, I think I'll take this opportunity to get rid of these copper. And then I can't do anything, so I'll end the buys. So this is what you're doing. So in your turn, like you're you're just kind of building out these like epic turns. I mean, look at this computer just playing tons and tons of cards. That's like the addictive nature of this game is just playing tons and tons of cards on your turn and. That's why with more like players, it gets a little bit boring. Cause like right now I'm just literally watching the computer play and think about if I was playing it with like five people, I'd be watching four people, you know, take their turn until it's my turn again. Now the one benefit that this game has over, um, like hero realms is that the market stays the same, right? The market's not going to change. And so at least on your turn while you're waiting for everyone else to, you know, uh, play their epic, like, 40-card turns, you know, you have, you know, something that you can kind of do where you can kind of plan ahead. You can kind of, like, think about what you're going to do in your next turn and, and like, things like that. And you kind of look at the piles and, like, okay, well, there's only seven left in that. You know, maybe everyone's buying it. And if there's five people, maybe it get, there's two when it gets back to me and stuff like that. So... I mean, you do have some stuff to think about. It's not, you know, like you just like sitting there doing nothing. Um, but it does get a little boring, especially if you have players that just like have analysis paralysis and they just think about everything. I feel like, you know, Dominion's the best when you're just kind of playing to have fun. You're like, I'm going to try to get some epic turns. If I don't get epic turns, that's fine. And then... uh you know, play really fast, and then you can just play again. All right, so I definitely want to discard any number of cards. I want to get rid of that copper in the Providence, Providence, because it doesn't really matter to me. Excuse me. All right, so I'm going to go uh, boom, 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 discard them. 
And then I guess I'll go chapel, trash that copper. It's a waste of my time. And then we'll do village. All right, play treasures, get that guy. Computer's really kicking my butt right now, the hard AI. Look at that. Look at that. So now here's the here's the dilemma. So if I buy the province, the game is over. Now I know if I buy that, I'm only gonna get six points. Right now I have 24. So, you know, 24 plus six is not 38. Okay, so I have to think, well, what do I do? Okay, well, really, <laughs> I just hope that they get a bad turn, you know? Um, you know, I, I, can't, I can't even buy one with my, with my hand. So really, I, I could basically buy a duchy and then just hope that they have a low gold turn where they don't get eight. If they get eight gold, they win essentially is where we're at right now and okay so they haven't gotten the eight gold they need so we're still alive okay and then this card isn't going to do anything to me so play treasure so now i'm still hanging on by a thread um so there we go so that's how you play Dominion. Uh, I did lose 30 points to 41. Um, so there it is. You can do, you know, main menu, replay the same set. So it's like, you know, I, I'm pretty sure I played that set on not very optimally. So I could go and just replay that set against a hard AI and, and really try to do it and get better. Or you can even just rematch where it's now, as you notice, different cards. So we have like the Militia. Um, you know, the sentry, the gardens is an interesting one where the gardens allows you to, um, you know, get one victory point for every 10 cards in your deck. So like, it's not trying to keep a lean deck. It's trying to keep like a very, uh, you get a ver as many cards as you can in your deck. Honestly, uh, gardens can really score you a ton of points because it's, it's per each card. So if I had 50 cards in my deck, you know, each gardens is going to get me, um, you know, five points. So like they, they, they really add up. And sometimes, you know, depending on how large your deck is, you know, they might be worth more than the six points that the Providence gets you. So, uh, oh yeah. So, and then this card's different too. And the first time you play a silver this turn, you get one, one gold. Um, but yeah, that is Dominion. Uh, really great game, really great client. Uh, so far, I, you know, it's a little quiet. There's no music. I could see like some, you know, medieval music playing, uh, you know, very like lightly in the background would, would re really like elevate this game a lot. You know, iconography is very clear. The cards are very clear. I play this on the iPad as well uh, in iPhone and the game looks and plays great on those as well. And the computer ver version uh, looks just as great. Um, so, yeah, that is Dominion. Um, great game, great beta. Uh, so if you definitely want to check it out, I think they are, you know, they still have it open where you can kind of join the beta. Just go to Templegate, Templegate Games, uh, their website, and they have a blog post. You can join the beta. Uh, maybe you can play with me online. Uh, tons of tons of people playing online, and that's just how they're going to make this game even better. Playing against the AI, training it, and then uh, playing online and just making sure that's as smooth and and uh, polished as possible. So yeah, thanks for listening. If you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.